Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Hit the Road. We're in this little stage area called Bumpersville Sings where we finally found Bruno and Trixie, but we need to try and figure out how to get them out of Conroy Bumpus's newest musical, which actually was pretty entertaining in the last episode, I've got to say. Now, there's an alarm system here, which goes off, obviously, if we cross this, so then the bodyguard, uh, Lee Harvey, comes in and causes a problem. So I think what we've got to do... Looks like a keyhole to me. ...is find a key to go in this keyhole. Now, we don't have a key at the moment. Uh, let me just... Hang on, I've just had an idea. I can't use these things together. No, that didn't work. Okay, so... What I think we might have to do then <coughs> is I wonder if... Hang on. You're going to come in handy, buddy. Uh, hang on. What, what, what's going on there? It's, it's so annoying when I that happens. I don't think he'd want that. Yeah. That, that is like my one bugbear with this game, actually. That thing where Follow it me, clicks on... Spielbergian robot. Where it clicks on Max. Let's try this again. Right, so, these things have gone off again now, so, if we turn it all off, then there's, does that mean there's no alarms? Hang on, let's try this. Or, no, it doesn't control the alarms, does it? No, it doesn't. Right, so that controls, obviously, where the droid can go then, I think. Follow me, you Spielbergian robot. So, Spielbergian robot, let's I love it. I missed again. that the first time round. <clears throat> right, okay, so let's plug all this back in. Because we want it to be able to go everywhere, right? Get along, little robot. Right, that's it, he's got in there again. Excellent. Okay, so he's tripped the alarm. He's going to come past. He's not getting any smarter, is he? And something tells me he never will get any smarter either. <laughs> right, so let's head back down this way now. So I think we're going to have to definitely do something in this VR system because there would be no other reason to get rid of Lee Harvey from this room other than to access this, which he stops us from doing. So we're definitely going to have to do something in this. I wonder if we're going to have to actually use the sword on that dragon that came out before. Let's give it a go. Maybe we just weren't quick enough or something before? I, I still I don't, don't see what all the fuss is about. Well, you will. Hopefully. <laughs> right. Uh, so what do we... Right, here it comes, right. Okay. <laughs> Yes, okay, I think we did it this time. Oh. What's that? It's a chunky hovering dragon's heart. It's just very like loud. the one I have at home. Why do you have one of those at home? Oh. Well, I guess we got the key. <laughs> well, I am the key master. Does that come with a dental plan? <laughs> I don't know what you two critters are up to, Nothing. but I want you out of here, now. Alright, well that was that was pretty easy in the end then, wasn't it? So we've got this key, so I wonder if that is the key that we needed. It's a cheesily polygoned key. A cheesily polygoned key, right, okay. So, <clears throat> let's try that in that lock. Now in this game it's probably not going to be the key that we need and we'll go to something else, but you never know. So let's head through, we'll try using the key. And hopefully that will turn this alarm system off. Ooh, I think it does work. It does! Yes! <laughs> They're free! Well, I wonder if this is the end of the game, though. Well, pretty close to it, at least, because the whole idea of the game was to track Bruno down, wasn't it? Gee, thanks. <laughs> oh. Well, back to the Very aggressive handshake. I'm feeling a little morally conflicted about taking Bruno back to the circus. I'm not. Let's go, you big lot. <laughs> Stay away from him, you malefactor. I'm not a malefactor. I'm a Ligamore. <laughs> I'm not going back to the circus, and I'm late for a party. Oh, yeah, the Bigfoot party. Where is oh, it? Oh, yeah, I that forgot about that. Morrison Savage Jungle Inn in picturesque Half-Life Nevada. Bigfoots. And their dates. Only 
<laughs> oh, what? <laughs> the hat. Let's go. Ooh, a new location. All right. Um. So can we? While we're here, let's just see if we can do anything. Bumpersville sings. Can we? Oh no, we can't go out there or anything. That's kind of weird. Alright, well. No, okay. So, I think we're going to need this wig somehow though. Or maybe we don't need it. I don't know, maybe it was just to help us out with the puzzle? I don't know. Maybe we'll come back to it. Let's check out this new location. And then if we need a wig, we know where we can get it, right? So what is this place then? Some sort of volcano. Savage Jungle Inn. This place is tiki-rific. Tiki-rific? Yeah, I feel immersed in native culture. I just hope this place has authentic savage tiki drinks with that authentic tiki tang. <laughs> Welcome podiatrally gifted. Nice welcome for the Bigfoot, Big Feet, Big Bigfoots, Big Feet. Savage Jungle Inn. I don't know, guys. Uh, right, so, what is this? Is this real It's lava? a miniature mighty volcano, lending authenticity to this jungle motif. Can we... I can't pick that up. Oh, damn, I cut Max off there. What was he saying? It's a miniature mighty volcano statue. Oh, no. It's a miniature mighty volcano statue. Damn, I cut him off. He was going to say something funny. I think, I don't know. <laughs> right, um, hang on, what? Can we not? Okay, maybe we have to go in? Uh, huh. Can we? This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Why can't I figure out where to go here? <laughs> This is a complete... Oh, there we go. The door was quite um, hard to find there. What's this? It's a Max. With privacy <laughs> oh, my God. Max. <laughs> Why? Why, Max? Come on. Oh, my God. Right, okay. That's a particularly big Bigfoot. It is. Can we talk to him or her? What's up in there? Big time Bigfoot party. Nice. Can we come in? Can we can we go into the Bigfoot party? What's up in there? Big time Bigfoot party. Yeah, you said that before. Can we go in? Sounds like some kind of shindig. It's the event of the century. Is it now? Right, so there's obviously more to the game then. I thought that Max seriously. How's the band? <laughs> Pretty happy as far as I can tell. It's the squeaking door as well. <laughs> Just adds to the effect. Oh, hello. Who's she this? She looks familiar. She does? I wonder if this bird talks. Maybe it'll give us an important clue. Possibly. Nah, that'd be stupid. Well, you never know in these games. You never know. The Reptile Queen. I remember seeing this movie in theaters when I was a pup. <laughs> the climactic scene, they dropped giant rubber snakes on the audience. Why don't they make movies like that anymore? Higher standards? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, God. He's pulling the t bird's tail now. He's getting worse. Stop it. Don't be silly. Is that like a clue that we're going to have to do that? I can't pick that up. No. Okay. Just this Max. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Right, let's talk to this lady. Hello. Hey, aren't you Evelyn Morrison, famed B-movie star? Yes, I am she. <laughs> I've seen all your movies. My favorite was Robot Terror from Beyond the Galaxy. Is that the one where the alien says, Clam do Beretta Nimno? No, that's Vampirus in Prison. Oh, yeah. Would you like Evelyn Morrison's autograph? Sure. Actually, we just want to ask a few questions. Oh, yeah, questions Evelyn first. Evelyn Morrison is always available for interviews. Well, it's not really an interview per se. How'd you end up in the hotel business? I bet it was a sordid combination of fast cars and fast living. <laughs> <laughs> it was the stars. Bigger movie stars than you? Pshaw. Pshaw? 
No, the stars didn't get bigger. The rubber monsters got smaller. <laughs> All right. I still say it was a lurid tale of sin and depravity. <laughs> you would do, Max. Something's going on with this Bigfoot's um, foot here, by the way. Every now and again, like, sparks or something come out of it. I'm not really sure what's going on with the feet, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. Action! I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Corman. Okay. I have the sudden craving for an umbrella drink. <laughs> Evelyn Morrison's Jungling has the greatest umbrella drinks in the world, with over 237 kinds of rum. Wow, that's a lot of rum. All in just one drink? <laughs> Which way to the bar? Oh, dear. Take it easy, Max. You don't even drink. Oh, yeah. The toucan must have put words into my mouth. <laughs> have you had any problems with the Bigfoots? Evelyn Morrison has always worked well with grotesque creatures of the night. I like that I'll she refers that to herself no in thing. third person as well, you know, that's like the epitome of class, isn't it? You haven't seen a short, self-absorbed, crazy as a bedbug country western singing star around here, have you? If you mean Conroy Bumpers, Evelyn Morrison had him ejected from the premises ah. hours ago. So he was here. He was harassing Evelyn Morrison's guests. Interesting. I'll get back to you later. Evelyn Morrison will be here. In the meantime, why not take some of these brochures? Okay. They have Evelyn Morrison's autograph on them, making them must-have collectibles. Thanks. Hmm. Let's have a look. Uh, hmm. I hate it when you hum, Sam. It sounds like a high-voltage tower. <laughs> these are pamphlets for the Mount Rushmore Dinosaur Tar Pit in Bungee Jumping National Park in North Dakota. And some place called the Celebrity Vegetable Museum in Goat Liver, Texas. What? Oh my god, okay. I think I like the humming better. <laughs> okay, so we've got some new locations then. These are pamphlets for the Mount Rushmore Dinosaur Tar Pit and Bungee Jumping National Park. And some place called the Celebrity Vegetable Museum. Right, so two places then. Uh... Something's going on here, and I... that's a particularly big Bigfoot. There, I get, I get the feeling that's got something that we need to do. Stop. What's up? Only Sasquatches and their dates are allowed on the convention floor. Right. So I wonder if we're going to be. Yeah, it's like sparks or something. I wonder if we're going to have to become a Bigfoot then, potentially. So let's jump in our car and we'll go and check out one of these new places. Wow, yeah, look, the map is really fit. What's that? Oh, that's Frog Rock, isn't it? So we've got this vegetable place here. And we've got this dinosaur tar pits place, was it? Um, let's go this way. We'll go to the vegetable place and then up. Celebrity Vegetable Museum. Celebrity Vegetable Museum. This sounds like it'll be fun. What detail? <laughs> See the carrot leaning out of the book depository? Yeah. Never mind that. What about the string beans behind the fence on the grassy knoll? <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, what the hell is this? Jeez, look at this down here. There's something there we can look at. Uh, what's this? Pumpkins? So this is where it all happens. It's making me hungry, Sam. <laughs> you don't want to eat these veggies, little buddy. They've all got faces on them. And? <laughs> he doesn't care. Uh, can we... No, we can't get those. Okay. Uh, can we go up here or... Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's head this way, I guess. Yeah, here we go. Uh, what's this? Which one of these guys is the walrus? The celery stock. <laughs> right, okay. Remaindered Conroy Bumpus eggplants. Ooh. I guess his 15 minutes of fame are about up. Can we... Yeah, we can. Look at that. Conroy Bumpus eggplant. It's an eggplant that looks somewhat like Conroy Bumpus. That's interesting. Uh... It's a whole heap of eggplants shaped like Conroy Bumpus' head. No, we don't need any more of those. I can't believe Harrison actually agreed to this. <laughs> it is a stunning likeness, though. It's amazing what they can do with mushrooms. <laughs> right, let's try it. I can't pick that no, up. No, okay. What's this? Your, Your likeness, likeness from, from picture. picture. I applaud this woman's monomania. Hello. What the holy mother of gourd is this? <laughs> I 
isn't it obvious? I grow vegetables in the shapes of famous celebrities. For a small fee, I'll grow a vegetable from a photograph. Ooh. Oh, that would have been my second guess. <laughs> what was the first? How late are you open? As late as you want. Nice. Gotta grab the sales when you can in this business. I can imagine that sales are pretty slow, yes. I grow more fascinated by the moment. So what's the biggest thing in vegetable celebrities right now? I can't believe I lived long enough to hear you say that, <laughs> You may not believe this, Sonny, but the biggest thing right now is miniaturization. Really? Miniaturization? Peas. Peas? I know, I know, it seems impossible. Peas that look All like people? All we are saying is give peas a chance. All right. So what do you know about Bigfoots? Well, they don't translate well into vegetables. Okay. I have been experimenting with the idea for a while. There's just no such thing as a furry vegetable. Mm. Check out our fridge. <laughs> what prompted that batch of Conroy heads over there? Well, I was trying a new growth hormone for some of my more distinguished personalities when I realized it was no good. Now it won't stop. They just keep growing like that. Big misshapen growths on top reminded me of Conroy Bumpus, so I ran a <laughs> Oh special. my god, fair enough, fair enough. Well, bye. The music is crazy here, by the way. Uh, do we have a photograph anywhere? I don't think we do, but I wonder if we need to get a photograph to make a likeness of somebody. That could be something we've got to do. But guys, that is where I'll leave it for this one. What a um, crazy episode. I thought we were probably near the end, but I don't think we are at all. We've still got more locations to explore. We've got to get into that Bigfoot's party as well. And I'm really enjoying it still. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne and Nate for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It really helps YouTube push this video out to more people who would like to watch it. And who might want to join our little point and click community that we're building here. And I will see you all next time.